The first thing we're going to do here is construct the truth table for the proposition P implies Q. So this down here is P implies Q, or if P, then Q. Okay, what we have to do there is construct the truth table for that. Straightforward enough, uh, usual truth table construction. So we'll start off with P and Q. And we put out the usual pattern of ones and zeros, trues and falses. So P and Q first off. Uh, we'll start from the right hand side and move left. Zero, zero, sorry, zero, one, zero, one. Now zero, zero, one and one. Let's just make those lines a little bit longer. So now we're going to put in P implies Q. Now this, if we're, uh, I've done it a different presentation where I sort of like um, put more explanation into uh, where these values come from, but for the this part here what we're going to do is just uh, sort of, I'm just going to sort of say it's one to sort of memorize P or Q, P and Q and P implies Q. I recommend in uh, having them this sort of thing memorized as well as being able to rationalize it or discuss it. So it's 1101. Okay. Now, let n be the um, element of the set 1 to 7. So the numbers there are 1 to 7. And let p, q be the proposition as follows p, n is even, and q, uh, n is greater than 4. So what we're going to do now is write out that truth table there. And I'm going to set it up here n, 1, 2, 3, four, five, six, and seven. Now, what we're going to do next is see are these values true for P and are they true for Q? So again, we set up a little truth table here like this, very similar to what I've done the last time. And what will be helpful for us in the first instance is to go through the data set or through the values and just um, tick them off one by one. So the value, uh, we'll do P first, and that P is N is even. Well, that's not even, so we're going to put a zero there, that's false. Two is even, that's true, so put that a one. Zero, one, zero, one, and zero. Okay, so alternating between zeros and ones. The next one is Q, N is greater than four. So one, it's not greater than four. Two is not greater than four. Three is not greater than four. Watch now. Watch out for this one. N is greater than four. Four isn't greater than four. So that's a zero there. One, one, and one. Lastly, what we're going to do now is write the values for n for which p implies q is equal to true. So this is the point of having the table that as we have it over there on the left hand side. We'd be able to sort of detect quickly what values we need by using this table. And what we're going to do is look at this pairing here and see what uh, we need over here. So 0 and 0, that's a, that gives us a 1. Let's do that one there. That's a 3 is also gives us a 1. And that's it. 0 and 1 will give us a 1. So there's none of those. Okay. Ones and zeros, that will give us a zero. So a zero here and a zero here. Sorry, there's a zero and a one there. So that will give us a one. That will give us a one as well. And finally, one and one, there we have it there. So the values are um, one, three, five, six, and seven. Those are the values that we have to pick out. One, those are the values for which the uh, N impli uh, P implies Q is true. Okay, so that's that part done.